Ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin my broadcast today, I have something to say. In this time of darkness, of invading cities, I'm trying to remember. Light lasts forever. Darkness lasts. Darkness lasts not even evil. for one second. When you turn on the light. And in the spotlight this morning, this series was truly unbelievable. All the light we cannot see follows the path of when a blind French girl and a German sh soldier collide. And if you haven't seen it yet, you are going to want to now. Joining us today is actress Aria Mia Liberti, who plays the main character, Marie Laurie. Good morning, Aria. Hi. I am so happy you are here. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back. Yes, so just so everybody knows, this is her second appearance on the road show. You were with us in 2016. 2016. For a mm -hmm. Duncan scholarship. A Duncan scholarship. Yes. Because it helped me pay for going to URI, which was such a huge, huge honor, it still is, and was, I was so nervous because it was my first time really on camera. Right. And now it's, it's not. So <laughs> <laughs> now you're an old pro, yeah. now yeah. this is. <laughs> yeah, so now, I'm, you know. This is, this is nothing. A lot of people it's don't, fun. may not know, if, even if they've watched the series, that you are a Rhode Island girl. Yeah. From Johnston, right? Yeah, because you can't hear it in my voice. Right. Yeah. So, so tell us about you know your growing up in Rhode Island and kind of how you got to the point you're at now, which is like mind blowing. Yeah. So I grew up in Johnston, mm -hmm. and um, I had such. I, I mean, I think my parents were what made my childhood as special as it was. Right. They always advocated for me, but unfortunately, it seemed like every time I went outside, the world was always telling me that I can't do things that I shouldn't be able to achieve. Um, you know, all because there are a couple of microscopic cells in my eye that, like, would they, people think that should dictate your power or your strength. Um, so I kind of internalized that and I believed it. And my parents were the only people telling me otherwise. Mm -hmm. And then I got to URI and it was the first time anyone other than my mom and dad told me that I mattered. And I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but the professors at URI really bolstered me, but not once did I study theater, not once did I ever think about being an actress. I was an academic, and I went on to get my master's, and then I was in my PhD program when the casting search came up, and a teacher um, who taught me how to use my white cane here in Rhode Island was the one who sent me the casting search in the first place. So I really would not have done any of this if I hadn't overcome those obstacles, but also hadn't had someone on the other side thinking about me all those years later to reach out and say, right to do it, to, why, to, to, why to take, you give it to a take try. the chance. Yeah. And I also want to point out, your mom is a huge roadshow fan, yeah. and she's, and on, she's, the other side of, she's yeah. on the other side of the camera, yeah. and is beyond happy. She watches every day. <laughs> yes, she does. I, I, yeah. I love that. So um, when the teacher said to send in your, your tape to, mm -hmm. to, for the audition, yeah. you didn't do it at first. I didn't do it, no, I said no, and then I was having a really bad week, because like I said, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, Right. and I, I hadn't really taken to t any time to get to know myself. Right. Um, and. I was just like, oh, I'm having a really bad week. It's a book that I really love, so why don't I just go do this tape? I didn't have anyone who I knew. I had just moved to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So I did the other lines. I recorded them on my iPad, and then I recorded myself doing the Marie lines, and I sent in my first take, and I never thought anyone would see it, and now it's all over the internet, it, which is ridiculous. Which is crazy. Yeah. So who was the first person you called when you heard that you had gotten the role for this? <laughs> no, so um, I couldn't call anybody because I was crying too hard because I thought I was going into the call to get rejected. Right. And you can see the tape is, is like on social media. You can see on my face I looked like I was going to get rejected. Mm -hmm. Um, and I couldn't call anybody because I was shaking so badly. So the director, Sean Levy, who gave me the news, yes. I was crying, I, I need my mom. I, can you call my parents? I need my mom. And he's like, I'll call them. But I couldn't remember their number, so I gave them the landline because that's what they teach you when you're little, when there's an emergency. Sure. And my brain was like, there's an emergency crisis. Help, help, mom. Right. Where's my mom? Yeah. So he called them and he broke the news. That is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. So for anybody who hasn't show, uh, seen this, it, we, we have just a, a short amount of time here. Can yeah. you just tell us a little bit about your role? Because first of all, you are unbelievable in this role. Thank you. And it's also considering this is your first quote unquote, real acting role. Yeah, no, so um, first audition, first time acting, and like I said, 
Um, I'm legally blind, the character I play is totally blind. Right. So I'm able to bring my own lived experience because in certain environments like these, I am totally blind. In others, like if I step five feet that way, I'll have some vision. So I was able to bring that informed knowledge, this character, this is the first time really that a leading role in a production like this, especially a production that's this big, sure. has done that. With an, with an incredible cast. Yeah. Now that you have the acting bug kind of again, do you want to con roll, continue on? Yeah, so yeah. I, as soon as we finished All the Light, I went in and filmed um, another series in Vancouver that's coming out in the spring. Awesome. And I can't say much about that. No, that's it's okay. it's very exciting. And then, um, yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming up in 2024 that I also can't talk about. Well, but. can I just tell you again, once again, that I don't mean to keep dra dragging on about this. I, we're so happy for you. We're Thank so you. happy that you took the time to come in Thank for us. Thank you. And after the series or whatever happens, please don't forget about us and come Thank back you. in no, when, I come when back. you're home. Otherwise, mom's yeah. going to be on here, I know. sitting here telling us everything you that you've get been my doing. my mom. That would be really fun. She would love that. <laughs> get my dad, too, though. Get them doing banter. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Well, we, we, we wish you nothing but the best, and we really do appreciate you coming in today. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks I'm so, so much. glad Thanks so much here. for coming in here. Now, if you, you, you got to do this. You can watch All the Light We Cannot See. It is streaming right now on Netflix.